What is going on everyone? Anthony here and welcome back to another video here on Let's Talk Resident Evil. And in this video there is some more coverage and info as well as screenshots that you'll be seeing here on the screen that cover some more of Ashley Graham. Now we got a whole thing of Ashley Graham in the actual Game Informer and Mag that they covered and talked about the new Ashley mechanics. We know Ashley will be a more improved AI this time around. Uh, she's not going to be someone that just sits still and doesn't move. It's something where Leon will actually yell, spread out, or come on. So you can't really tell Ashley to hide in dumpsters anymore. They thought that wasn't really realistic here. Now they go further on in this article and they says that you can no longer command her to stop. She follows no matter what. That means no more ditching her in a safe spot to clear out enemies lying ahead in the original. Capcom wants Ashley to stay by Leon's side because realistically, she would never want to be left alone in such a dangerous environment, which is, again, this article was posted today by Marcus Stewart. So this is the same individual that wrote all of the uh, the coverage on the chapters one and five that I read to you in the other videos. This just kind of extends it a little bit more. And of course, it shows us more screenshots. And Kadoi says, this is from the uh, directors here, making an AI that you don't want them getting in your way, but if you can just forget about them and they take care of themselves, then it doesn't feel like you're really protecting them. So finding a balance between those two were difficult. So Ashley can now kick down ladders. She can also climb down ladders. So it's something where before you always had to catch her on ladders. She would never climb down, but now she actually climbs down, which is pretty cool. Um, that's one thing that, again, they just wanted to make her seem a little bit less bratty, more useful according to this article here. So it then goes into Ashley not having a health bar, which is what we talked about in the last coverage video that I did. Um, it says that she could still be scooped and carried away by enemies, which also results in a failure. But there is a lot of co-op barriers, which is what they call it, where you can go back with Ashley and access, you know, areas that you couldn't before, and she can help you grab items and do progression stuff as well. They say in quotes here, this is from Ampo, he says, We wanted the game to change when Ashley is with you. There's also a funny screenshot where she glances at Leon, like my hero, after he catches her, so that's pretty funny. Uh, they also say in quotes here that they wanted to make Ashley a little bit more believable and likable, so again, very similar to what we saw in the other article here. But they say here that Ampo says that the team redesigned parts from the original that were very game-like to have more humanity. The directors even proposed an idea in early develop to reinforce their stronger bond. And then it says here in quotes, at one point we even had it that you could grab her hand, but this guy points to the director Ampo, thought it looked like they were too close and they didn't like it. So we didn't end up doing that. So very similar to what I said in the other article, they did talk about that a little bit. Now they used more of the director's interview in this article. So of course they have more quotes from them and they kind of expanded on what they were talking about with Ashley, but we didn't really get anything new on this article besides the screenshots here that we're seeing, which is pretty cool. Like we see that she's actually climbing up ladders. She's more useful. They really wanted to make the escorting of Ashley way easier and more manageable in the RE engine with the remakes, because we never really had a system like this that's really relying on AI in the remakes specifically. So this will be their chance to improve it and make it work. So let me know what you think of the brand new Ashley Graham screenshots and what do you think of the changes? Again, I covered a lot of them in the previous video and then I kind of went over them again as this new article talks about them again. So let me know down in the comments below what you think of the new screenshots of Ashley Graham and the new mechanics as well. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe as the road to Resident Evil 4 Remake continues.